that PJ. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here in our shooting center today to talk to you about a brand new product that just came out. I'm here with Shiana Battle of Mantis. Shiana, tell us about what this product is. So this is the X8. It is our training analysis system that you can mount to your bow. It's going to track your motion as you're coming up on the bow or raising your bow and coming down on the target. It's going to track your setup, your hold. It's going to give you a timer throughout that entire phase and it's going to map your shot so you know how much you're deflecting um, as you release. Mantis has a history with this kind of product from the firearms industry. They brought it over to here and you're a level three USA Archery coach. Yes, sir. Tell us what benefits archers are gonna get from this. So consistency is a really, really important in archery. It's something that we always, always are after. We're striving for a consistent shot. We're trying to do the same thing over and over again and get the same result. Um, something we can't always quantify with data, something we can't always measure except for where our shot's going, right? So in Mantis, it's gonna show you in your shot what exactly you're doing, what you're tracing and how you're moving. And we can go and look at several shots time and time again and see what our traces look like. So you can see this person is super consistent on their pre-shot data as they're beginning their draw phase, coming down onto the target, completing that hold, anchoring, executing the shot and releasing. Um, they have the same trace time and time again. Down here we can see how long they're holding each phase. And if we wanted to go over and look at how consistent they are um, in their setup phase, we can see they're doing that exact same shape over and over and over again so that's a measure that you know something we can see in live data um, this is how I'm shooting this is how I move I mean as a coach otherwise you have to kind of look and just go off what you're looking at mm -hmm. and you may not be able to see subtle differences in stabilizer position stabilizer oh, yeah. movement etc so this you can really and as you were saying if there is an area where you're seeing some variation, then you know we need to work on this area of your shot process. Exactly. Um, and it also, I think one of the things I've noticed is it, it can help us correct that tendency to overthink. It's me, it's me, right? Sometimes it is your equipment. Sometimes it is you, but it's going to show you that movement when it is you. Right. And it's also going to show you a stability score. So sometimes if we change something on our equipment and our stability score goes down, then obviously that change is adverse. But if the stability score increases, then that's something that we might be able to stick with. Tell me what the stability score is what that's measuring. So if we go back in here and we see that it's got the different color codes that correspond to different parts of your shot. The hold, which is the orange here, um, is right before you release. So within three degrees of where the release point is. The stability score comes from how much you're moving at that point in your shot phase. Uh, okay. So if you're moving a whole lot, your stability score is going to go down. But if you're holding steady on that target, it's going to be a pretty high score. So to the, from the archer's end, this is where the pin is settling on the target. Yes. Okay. And so some people it sits still, some people it doesn't. Exactly. Right. Um, so that's how you're stabilizing into the shot. Well, let's take a look here. This is what people will get. This is what they'll see on the, on the shelves there. So we've got the, tell us about the quick start guide. The quick start guide gets you set up. So it gives you directions on how to start um, by mounting your bow. Um, once you get it, you're gonna download our Mantis Archery app. It's really important that you download the Archery app. Um, and then you're gonna attach the Mantis sensor to your bow. When you do, you're gonna have a nice little Picatinny rail set that comes out of the packaging. Um, and this has a sticky on the back side of it. Um, and when you mount that, you're gonna want to have it at a horizontal axis. Um, so as long as you find a 90 degree on a flat surface on the riser, maybe a quick disconnect or even the dovetail of your site, you need to find a 90 degree that you can mount this to. Um, and then it also gives you um, some instructions on how to follow through the app. Okay, and now this is the actual Mantis device. I mean, 
it weighs almost nothing. I mean, it's super light, so it's not like you're putting something heavy on the bow. Yeah, no, and you can't feel it, so it's not gonna throw your bow off center or anything like that. It's super light, um, and it will definitely be an asset as you're going through and training. And the orientation of this should be what? So when I said it should be on a horizontal axis, you can see that you have the quick disconnect clip here, um, and then the USB that charges it on the back. Um, you want either of those, you know, facing a 180 degree angle. So it could either be in the forward orientation, the USB is facing you when you're shooting, um, or it could be backward. Um, so where the USB is facing away, but we want to make sure that the words Mantis are up and down. Gotcha. And your power button is on the front face there. Yes. Uh, that's the power button is here. We have the um, Mantis app downloaded here to the screen. So we, there it is, got your little icon. So now we're going to run through it and talk us through what we're seeing with this device right here. So when you have the app downloaded, it's going to give you a couple of screens that are actually tutorials, which is super helpful. But at this point, we've gone through those. So we're going to go ahead and turn the Mantis on first. We're going to sit it down on the table and we'll press connect. So it's going to automatically connect there. And what we're going to do is need to calibrate the Mantis. And so it has to be sitting on a stable surface for two to three seconds and then it'll calibrate on its own. So this is fine just setting it on the table. Yes, and usually we would want to, you know, make sure our hands are off the table and, and it's pretty steady, but this is a solid table, so it's got, you know, it's able to stop moving. It's looking for a consistent point with no motion. So is it's it on and it's oh, ready okay. to go. If we wanted to see like a live trace of what it does, so right now the Mantis is sitting at what it looks like a horizontal axis on the pitch and camp, but you can see that you're stationary and stable. Yeah. It's always looking for consistency of motion. So it is going to take a whole lot of data if I'm moving it, I'm holding it. You can see wow. the ambient motion there. Um, over 400 data points a second. It's really hard to hold it in a consistent way, you know, just in my hand. But you can see <laughs> that, you know, me just breathing and talking to you, it's able to track a lot of motion. So as it's sitting here on the table, you know, this is the live screen and this is one that we um, can cover more as we adapt or um, attach it to a bow. But the live screen is really important to make sure that the Mantis is on and mounted to the bow correctly. So you want to look for that vertical trace, this white line here that is going to be your cant. So um, when the bow is held upright, you want to make sure that that vertical axis is um, going up and down at 180 degrees. Otherwise, we need to go back into the settings and make sure that we have successfully um, we have successfully set the settings for how we have it mounted on our bow. So, Shiana, we're going to mount the Mantis onto my bow now. I have the TRX-40, which comes with a ton of cutouts, which were to reduce weight in the riser. So we've decided that the best spot for it is actually on my sight. Yeah, that's where we have the most surface area. You want to have a nice flush flat spot um, to mount on and you want to make sure you can find that 90 degree. So we're on that horizontal axis. Gotcha. Um, so this is just a uh, sticky tape. Yep, it's 3M sticky tape. Mm -hmm. It is going to completely hold up to all vibration and ordinarily we would want to clean this surface and mount it, give it 24 hours, but I have been able to successfully use them with mounting them and using them in the same day. So Gotcha. We're doing it for video purposes, so we're moving a little faster. <laughs> yeah, moving along a little quicker. Okay, so it is, so we've got the Picatinny rail on there. Mm -hmm. What is the next setup process. So the next phase of it is going to be actually sliding the Mantis onto the Picatinny rail okay. and remembering that the forward orientation has the USB facing us. Um, we're going to go ahead and just slide it on there. So sometimes it's easier actually to slide it forward. So you might want to think that through when figuring out a place to mount it because sometimes if you get, you know, down here behind a rest or a clicker, yeah. it's kind of hard to to slide it forward because it is tapered so that it will stay on there. Okay, so I have it on and now we go back to the app mm -hmm. and what are we gonna set up? Things that are really, really important. You're a right-handed archer. So yes. for you, PJ, we're gonna make sure that we've got it set to right-handed and then we know that we mounted it to the right side of your uh, dovetail and yep. then we know that we mounted it in the forward direction or orientation. 
If someone were to want to mount it backwards or it's easier to slide on their Picatinny that way because of whatever they have set up on their bow, they're going to want to make sure that they have that forward and backward orientation correct. And then we also want to make sure we have it on the right, right side mount location. We could have put it on the inside of the dovetail and at that point we would have put the left, but it's important that we make sure that's right because it will help us get accurate data and accurate data sets in the pitch can and our traces. Perfect. So that completes the setup now? Yes. So okay. stick it on and we're ready to go. So if we were in this set now, what would you what would you hit to get us into the live shooting phase? So then we're going to hit train down here in the bottom left corner. You're going to hit the train button and we're actually already on the live screen. So this is yes. you moving your bow. I see that. When you get it to a consistent hold, it turns green. Um, as it starts to really recognize you're settling down, it'll turn orange. But most of the time, if you're moving ambiently, it's gonna be yeah. red. All right, well, let's get set up and we will take a shot and see what it looks like. All right, sounds great. So we're gonna start the shot process. Tell me what we're looking at. All right, so this is how we open an open training session. So first we need to make sure that we have the handedness set. So we are right-handed, we know that. Yes. Um, and then you can just click compound or recurve. So uh, it's okay. really simple to switch back and forth. And if you're taking the mantis off and putting it on a different bow and you're restarting sessions, you know, you can go through and change that pretty quickly. That's an important thing we should point out that this is, can be used on, on a compound or a recurve. Yes. Okay. So now that we've got that all set, I'm gonna go ahead and press the green start button. So now we are in our training session. I can monitor your live feedback and see exactly how things are working to make sure we set everything up properly. But we're good to go whenever you're right. ready to start shooting. I'll take a shot and you talk through what you're seeing there. It looks like we're good on that aspect. You can see that you're stable and your hold and then there's your release and I got a trace on that shot so we're good to go there very nice 95.6 so, what yeah that's Man. not bad and that's you so, <laughs> so that's your data sh show me every phase of what I did so what you see there I'm not gonna press play, but you can play this back in real time. But I'm okay. gonna just zoom us through. So this is you coming up, your pre-shot movement. You began your draw phase right about here. Okay. And then you begin to hold, anchor and hold here. And then we're gonna come on down here and release is over here. So when you release, you're at that white X, okay? Where the bow is flexed or deviating to when the arrow leaves is the red X, okay? okay. So you're within half a degree. You're fine, you're doing a great job there. And then this red trace here is your follow through. So if I go back to the full view, that is your shot. So one of the criticisms that I get from coaches about my shot is that I tend to push the bow right. I've been working on that, but it's looking here like I didn't do that? No, you okay. didn't. You didn't. Good. Now, if I look at this at the beginning of your hold, you did push the bow right a little bit, gotcha. but not very much. Um, so each one of these white lines is half a degree of motion. So it looks like we went about, let's say it's 0.75. Yeah. Gotcha. So as you're looking at this then as a coach, what are you telling me to work on? I mean, it's only one shot, but I would tell you, let's get a couple more shots in there, but really right before your release, let's work on that hold, making sure we're staying stable and holding that shot into the target after it's released. Don't gotcha. push on that Oh, follow gotcha. Through. All right, let's try another one. was a very solid shot. Our trace changed and we got back into the area where we can see our setup. So kind of went back to what we were doing before where we start down here, come up on the target. So that's good to see again. So one very important part of all of this is measuring consistency as we're shooting. So we can see how long you're holding on one shot versus the next shot and successfully how long you are 
holding and when you're the most consistent. So you're most stable when you're holding about seven seconds. Uh -huh. So you got a 97.2 there. Um, again, trace of the pre-shot data, the draw phase, and you're settling down into that target. And you can see we don't have that super long trace of a lot of variable movement. Um, release and deflection are pretty consistent. And then we can go over here and look at our pitch and cant data. This is super important because if you can hold that riser on the same axis every time, then you're going to be very consistent. Yes. So it looks like you're within, what is that? two tenths of a degree, maybe um, the most varying one you went maybe six tenths of a degree out of where the others were. So gotcha. very consistent on pitch and cant as well. So, you know, the more you're moving, the less the score. A 96.7 is a really high average, and I can tell you put a lot of range time in. So you're definitely not a novice shooter. So I should be a Vegas champion is what you're telling me? There's potential there, yeah. <laughs> Keep working for it. So over here, we have the little sign. It's going to have red stop sign on it. That's where you're going to hit that button, and then that's going to stop your session. So we can go into history and then go back and review that data. Or if we want to go to other sets of data, we can go back and review that as well. And so I'm up here at the top. Mm -hmm. That's... That's, That's the you. session we just did there. Your average okay. score was a 96.9, by the way. Great awesome. job. <laughs> and if we wanted to now start shooting again, we would just... So I'm going to just go through the phase where if you wanted to add notes in, you oh, can. Right. I'm going to press cancel there because we're not going to do that. But we'll go back out. We'll go back to here. We'll press train. And then now it brings us back to the beginning screen. Yes. So we'll make sure we're set compound right-handed. And I can press that green button. And then we are good. We've got live um, screen recording. So we're ready. All right. Now let's go down, pull the arrows, and we'll show another feature. Okay, sounds great. So we're down here at the targets. We can see that my first shot was a nine, second one was 11, third one was a 10. So now tell us how, what we do with the app. So we know that our training sessions can hold up to 30 arrows, right? It's up to us to stop it whenever we want. In this case, we're going to plot these other arrows right where they were. So we've got that nine. It's a little low and right. Well, not low, but it's to the right yep. there. Um, and then we're going to go in again. I just drag it off just a little bit more so I can get off that line. Um, and then we'll go to the third shot or the second shot, excuse me. And we'll drag that one right over into the 10 where it is. And then we'll go over to the fourth shot and we can put that one as well, map that out on the 10 line where it's at. So you can track your shots um, over time throughout your session and then go back and review them later. That's really what this screen is for. If you need to manually drop them in where they are, um, it really helps if your arrows are numbered. Um, if not, you know, you're shooting a three spot is pretty obvious, first, second, third. Um, but, you know, if you're shooting more than three arrows at a time, having the arrows numbered would be really helpful. So one of the points being, I can, we can look at the data and see what may have led me to, you know, push this one to the right. This one's dead on. What did I do there? Obviously, that's what I want to repeat. Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. That's great. I can certainly see the benefits of that and how we can really get people shooting better by following through this app. Yes, sir. Folks, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.